This is Jalen Holmes from Ohio State, Defense and End, and you watch it Fanatics View. My best memory of Ohio State is uh, coming back uh, against Penn State this past year at home. I say because we, we was down by a lot. It was a big game, and uh, just the, the way we came back and how we didn't give up on each other, like just the whole environment of the, the stadium and the locker room after the game was just a, a, one of the best memories I ever had playing football. I mean, it's challenging at times, but uh, it's definitely worth the results that you, you get playing under him. Uh, he, he provides Ohio State with the NFL staff and, uh, you know, playing with Coach Johnson as well as my D-line coach, it got me ready for the next level. What's getting me for the next level? I mean, one of the tougher teams. I mean, I feel like every team was different, like tough in a different way. I mean, Penn State had a lot of guys who can who could put points on the board. Uh, they had a great wide receiver, obviously great running back, great quarterback. They had a lot of good, great players on offense. It was a challenge for our defense. And then you got like Wisconsin, but that great offensive line. So it's a lot of great teams in the Big Ten. And uh, they definitely, I feel like this year, the Big Ten definitely showed why we won the toughest conference in the country. Uh, it's been great. I mean, it's just hard. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna miss somebody else. So I don't even want to name nobody because people are gonna be on my neck. But I feel like the whole team collectively was uh, very tight and close. We did a lot of things together. It was times where we would spend two hours after practice in the locker room just talking or just arguing about, you know, basketball, the Warriors, Cavs, anything like that. But uh, I played with a great, great group of guys. So, like, one of my goals in the NFL, you know, first is just to hopefully, you know, I'm just be blessed if my name get my call, my call, you know my phone get called on draft day, and then I uh, just try to step in and help it help us help the team as much as I can in any way, whether it's just on defense or special teams. Just I just want to help the team win. That's just my main goal. First of all, he's gonna be at more than one position <laughs> on the defensive line. Yeah, yeah. So you know. He liable to be in a lot of places, man. And he gonna talk a lot of junk to you. That's all I can give you head up. <laughs> yeah, it, but it's not in a way where like it's not disrespectful, but you, it's, you know, I'm coming. It's funny, so <laughs> like it's not. It's, it's not gonna. It's in a way a whole different way. Like it's like it's like real. Like it's on the low. Like you know, I could be talking to you in a, a calmest voice, but I'm really saying, you know whatever I want to say. Yeah, you definitely got to change your approach when you're inside. Uh, I feel like when you pass rushing inside, you got to know it happens a lot faster. And, you know, you beat somebody clean, though, inside, it's a higher chance to get a sack because you're really close to the quarterback. But a lot of times, you know, you may get into a double team real fast and it can get real physical real quick. So uh, that's just one thing inside and outside. You got more in space, but, you know, it's easier for the tackle to kind of recover a lot sometimes. So it's, it's different ways you got to approach it, but both of them have their advantages and disadvantages. So I feel like they're just going to build off what we, you know, kind of finished off last year. We we uh, had a Big Ten championship and then won in the Cotton Bowl. And I feel like got a lot of good young guys who got to step up next year. But uh, Ohio State, I'm not worried about them. We definitely, I definitely feel like they're going to be in that Final Four next year. Just, they just got to put it together, work hard, and, and come together as a team. I do not want them to see, no. no I, w I would not wish that on no athlete. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's already bad enough, you know, that uh, you missing, like this year we missed Christmas. Like I was in Dallas, Texas, practicing on Christmas. You don't get Thanksgiving. Like though stuff like people don't account for that. People just, you know, it's not like they're getting paid for it. I mean, you get a free education, but it's, you, you're playing past that when you push it to eight. And uh, you don't get the time to see your family. A lot of guys are out of state going across the country to play for these schools, making all this money. And uh, they don't get a chance to see their family if they go to eight. And it's, they, they rarely do when it's at four now. So you got you to count into final exams that month. 
And, you know, guys who are trying to get a degree, you know, some guys major in finance, some dudes major in biology, all that stuff. You got dudes on the team who got all these trying to get their degree, and you got to travel for a playoff game more than two, and you trying to still finish up on your final semester exams, that's that's too much for a person that's not getting paid. Like, I feel like if you're going to do that, you need to start paying them. One thing I would say is just thank you for everything that you've done for me and my career and my family. Uh, you guys always treated me with respect and uh, always supported me. So I appreciate that. Go Bucks.